I'd like to show you how to download a Canadian digital elevation model data set from the Canadian government's open data website. There's not a lot of steps involved, but it's not something that would be necessarily that intuitive if you haven't done it before. So I'm just going to walk through it with you. So you can do an internet search of Canadian government open data if you like to be able to find it or search for Canadian digital elevation model. This will take you to the relevant website. And if we scroll down here, you'll see that there are a list of different resources that are available, as well as a map here that you would think you would be able to zoom and pan to the area that you're interested in and then be able to download a data set. For whatever reason, at this point in time, this is October 2018, that doesn't seem to be really working. So uh, I'm going to show you kind of a workaround method or another way of being able to access it. Hopefully this will be more uh, uh, useful in the future. <laughs> okay. So in order to download it, you can just go to this last entry on the list that says prepackaged GeoTIFF files download directory and click access. And what this does is bring up a very old fashioned kind of FTP list of folders that are listed according to the NTS map sheet number. So that's the National Topographic Series map sheet number. So you have to know what the NTS map number is for the data set that you want to download. If you happen to know that, that's great. But if you don't, then you have to then download an NTS map sheet index in order to be able to figure that out. Now you can do that from the previous web page I just, just showed you. I'll, I'll show you that now. So down here, uh, the second last item says NTS index. You can download that as a shapefile and import it into your GIS software and then open that and then figure that out. Or sometimes, honestly, it's easier to just look at a PDF. So believe it or not, they, they still have that as sort of a, a go-to way of being able to refer to this. This whole system seems a bit clunky to me, but, but that's the way it's set up as of now. So what I did was I literally just had to Google National Topographic System or NTS Map Sheet Index. That brought me to this page. If you click on this link here, this will bring you to a page where you can access the indexes in PDF format. Like I said, sometimes it's just easier to be able to do that instead of having to bring in an S uh, SHP file or shapefile and then you know, figure out what the metadata is or what the attribute fields are or whatever. You can do that, that's fine. If you're gonna be doing this all the time, that might be more efficient. But all I'm gonna do here is click access and that will load, uh, again, a very old fashioned looking um, kind of internet directory. And I'm going to look for an image for Vancouver. So I'm going to look at the British Columbia link and that's going to take me to a PDF of the NTS map sheets for that. So there's a whole uh, way that NTS sheets are numbered. I'm not gonna go through that here, but essentially what I'm interested in is the uh, Vancouver sheet, which is here. So that's uh, going to be 92G. That's going to be the map tile that I'm interested in for my DEM. So now that I know that, I can go back to my other website and download the relevant data. So now I can go to my index here, scroll down to 92, and you'll see it's listing the data sets for all of the different map sheets. So I'm interested in 92G, I'll click on that. I will save that to my drive. And you can see here that I have my DEM file for 92G uh, in a zip file format. So I can just right click on that and select extract all since Windows has a built-in uh, unzip utility. And here we have an unzipped version of that same file. If I open it, you can see that there's uh, documentation in there in English and in French. There's an XML file. And then the one that we're interested in is the actual TIFF file itself that contains the DEM. That's all there is to downloading it. From here, you can add it to your GIS software of choice and start to analyze it, visualize it, do whatever you want with it.